Hello, my name is Scott Martin, and I have been a loyal Republican my entire life. The very first president I had the honor to vote for was in 1988, and I voted for George H.W. Bush, perhaps one of the most honorable men to ever serve the office. So it is with a heavy heart that I tell you that I will be supporting Joe Biden in 2020 over Donald Trump. This was not an easy decision. In addition to being a lifelong Republican, I was president of the Ocean County Young Republicans here in New Jersey. I coordinated the get out the vote effort here in Ocean County for George W. Bush in 2004. I have been an active and loyal Republican in my entire life. Donald Trump was not my first choice in 2016. I supported John Kasich. I wouldn't have minded Marco Rubio, wouldn't have minded Jeb Bush. I thought John Kasich was the man. But once Donald Trump won the nomination, even though he made fun of people, and put people down. Oh, his behavior was just disgraceful at times, but Hillary Clinton was just worse. So I bit my tongue and voted for Donald Trump. But after four years of his divisive politics, of his dishonoring the office, of putting money ahead of people's health, I feel we as Republicans need to take a stand and vote for Joe Biden. I don't know if Joe Biden's the answer. I just simply know that Donald Trump is not the answer and he's torn apart this country. I will be supporting our congressman in our fourth congressional district, Congressman Chris Smith. He is an outstanding Republican congressman. I will support our Ocean County clerk, who is also a Republican, Scott Colabello, and a Republican free holder, Joe Vicari. So this is not a situation where I'm saying we should all vote Democrat. We are Republicans. And I think who we vote for says a lot about ourselves. So I feel compelled to step forward and announce I will be voting for Joe Biden on Election Day. I hope everybody else does, too. Hey, if he doesn't do the job, four years from now, we settle up, we get a good nominee, and we make sure he doesn't get reelected. But for now, Donald Trump needs to go, and we need someone of honor in the office. Joe Biden is that man. You may not agree with his policies, but he is an honorable man.